What do I mean by air conditioner insert? See this? This is the whole guts to the thing. Now I lift that up there and slip it right in on the base. Here's a handle for it right there. When you get ready to pull it out sometime to service it or something, if you want to take it outside and clean it all off and, and spray off the back and, and get in there and get the fan blade done and all that for maintenance. Now see, this was the air conditioner we pulled out. That's not an insert, that's a one piece. Now how on earth can you install a one piece properly without that insert? I will never know. That sucker was heavy too. It was just kind of held up there by a couple screws in the trim and I would hate. I feel sorry for the person who buys one of those types at the store. Those are hard to install. Get something like I'm doing with the insert, then you can put the housing on, get everything square, get it all attached properly from the inside with screws, and then slip your insert in and... Oh. Whew. Glad that's done. I bet you want to see if it works. It's got, it comes with a nice little handheld unit here. Yes, it works. Okay, see that nice trim that I put around there? See, it matches like the door trim, just the doors, how they're nice and straight. And that just finishes off the cabinet, you know? If you're going to put it in a wall, that's kind of how you want to do it. And remember this plug here? Remember I was going to face it down? Well, I should have known. They wanted it. She wanted it facing up, so I had to disconnect the the outlet and flip it upside down so it just came straight up and didn't kind of loop-de-loop over to the left and up at the bottom or the side. You can always cut that trim at the bottom or the side. Because see on this right hand side there was notches. See those notches right there? One of those is for the bottom right and one's for the for the all the way over to the right. You see? There's two places for the cords. One's there and one's over here. And if you don't have the cord coming out on the right hand side, instead of running the cord along the trim and then over to the plug or something like that, you can cut in. And that's what I did right there. I made my own little notch, matched the other ones, and boom, I put it down in there. And then when I got done, I caulked the housing and also the the wood trim that's around there and that's gonna have to be painted that was pre-finished white and it's just a primer on there it looks looks pretty good actually but you know to, to put a coat of paint on there you get white just like that now it also came with this and I was kinda of surprised about that too see this you know what that is that's for the condensate drain line on the back side it's always a good idea to do it and see there's a little I don't know if you can see that. There's a little washer there, and it kind of snaps right into the, the opening. You'll see there's a little rubber grommet on the back side of your air conditioner, and you can snap that in, and then your, your hose, you get a flexible tube, and you can put it on there. Measure that. Uh, for this one, this one happened to be 5 eighths. They're not all 5 eighths, okay? So you measure that, and I'm glad I did that. So next time I'm at the store, I'm going to get some some hose and connect that. Now here's a here's something else. I know we put this in a in a closet and yes you're not really supposed to put it in a closet like this but they had no other choice. So the idea is they're gonna get a louvered door here and even if you have a louvered door what I would recommend is propping the door open and having the louvers because right now it's quite hot in here and this door on this side is kind of preventing some of the air from going out and going outside. Okay, I mean you could cut, this is a hollow core door, but you could cut a vent in here at the top, a vent in at the bottom, screw it on there if you don't want to get a louvered door, let's say. And see how nice that fits in there now? So see there's a, there's a, uh, there's a cap. Well, you can't really see it, but you look on yours and you'll see where the uh, drain line is. There's one 
you know, there's a hole right there that you can knock out, and then there's a rubber grommet on the outside of it, and that's where you hook up the drain line. Before, remember that before they had a little hose here, and they had just a just a funnel, and they caught it like that. And you could do something like that even if you wanted, and then strap that and reroute that hose on out to outside, let it drip over your uh, your lanai or whatever. See, this is on a second floor. So you could run the hose out over there and let it drip off the side. But if you got somebody downstairs, they might not want you to do that. So what, what we may do is where this little cabinet area is, maybe find uh, some sort of tub that's kind of tall-ish, and then we can put the hose right into that and then periodically they're gonna have to take that bucket and pour it and dump it out and then put it in there again, let it fill up, okay? Something like that. Wow, that's nice. Oh, it's so nice in here now to have the air. Doesn't that look nice? Hey, do a good job and yours can look like that too. That's all I got for this time. And I'll be back with more videos. I'm sitting here by the side of the road. I had to stop. Look at that. It looks like a rainbow, but it's right there on the ground. And up higher, I don't know if you can see it. Up a little bit further there's another rainbow it's kind of in there it's not very bright you see it up there okay that's all I wanted to show you I'm here in Maui wish you were here